the last person that my friends would would imagine would be on YouTube making videos about Parkinson's. I think also I would have been shocked if you had told me three years ago that I would be making videos. I'm a very quiet, um, shy, private person. So I never imagined that I would be making videos. But when I got diagnosed with early young onset Parkinson's, I found that there wasn't very much information out there about the population. I have not never really met someone with young or early onset Parkinson's. And I have over the years met a lot of people with Parkinson's. I have seen a lot of younger people or people that I think of as being young, but actually in reality, they're like 20 years older than me. So I went on the internet and basically I did learn a lot about Parkinson's, but but I, did, I was more interested in how it would affect a younger person and their day-to-day -day life. So I did find some videos on early young onset Parkinson's, but not very many. Well, let me clarify. Not very many where people were actually sharing what their day-to-day -day life was like with Parkinson's. So. It gets kind of lonely when you have young or early onset Parkinson's. You may not know anyone other than the people that you see in videos. And there's no one really that you can relate to or tell your problems to. And the disease is so kind of like uncertain, you know, as far as our futures, that it gets kind of scary. And sometimes you just need someone to talk to about Parkinson's and you have nobody or you have people but they don't want to hear about Parkinson's over and over again. I did go to a support group. It was not a young or early onset support group. The people were very nice. They were older but some of them weren't like that old. They were like in their 60s um, and a few of them had had early young onset Parkinson's. And once you, get clear, once you get classified as early young onset Parkinson's, it seems that you're always young, um, young and early, even though you're older now. And I think that's because we share some similarities in our Parkinson's. And there are different, they think there are different types of Parkinson's, that's why everyone exhibits different symptoms but they think that all of us share some kind of common thread and they think I think they think that the thread is that it's genetic in nature to us but I was talking about the support group it was kind of far away so I went there a couple of times and the people were really nice but they real but there wasn't really anyone my age and I'm not really that young for early young onset Parkinson's. So because of the distance and there was kind of like a long walk to the building, I decided not to go. It was just kind of getting impossible to go there at night um, that far. And I don't drive, so I had to take public transportation. There was no, I guess there used to be a young onset group, but that was kind of not going on at that time. At one time, I did ask a social worker in one of the Parkinson's organizations we have here why there was no interest in the young or early onset group. And he mentioned that that was kind of a problem, that there wasn't a lot of people that Signed, that ever signed up for early young onset Parkinson's and he said that was because most of our population is kind of hidden meaning that many of us don't actually admit to people that we have Parkinson's and I understand that because most of us are working and we're worried about our job security with having a disease like Parkinson's, so we kind of keep it to ourselves. 
I've also read that a lot of our population also don't tell their families even. So he said that was a big reason that you know that they would like to establish a group, but there's no one that would come to the meetings when they did have um, a group. So that was another reason why I do the videos because they're accessible to everyone. It's easy to just go on YouTube. Also, it helps me. The, doing the videos helps me. I like to kind of see, I would like to see how I'm progressing. I also find that it's therapeutic because, again, my friends can only deal with me talking about Parkinson's for so long. <laughs> and that's understandable. And it's not that I talk about it all the time, but it, it is part of my everyday life. So I try to talk to some people about it and how it affects me. Because it is kind of the disease that people don't don't see you as having a disease when you're younger with Parkinson's. So you guys know that that's kind of like a problem with communication and what people's views of Parkinson's is. So that's another reason. But mainly I like to help people and make them feel not so alone out there. At first I wanted to educate people that didn't have Parkinson's and make them more aware of early or young onset Parkinson's. But I don't, not to be negative, but I just don't know if that's going to happen. Like if that should be my focus. Because I think that it, unless it really affects them, people don't really care. Like they might be a little bit interested in it, but overall, since it's not affecting their life, they don't want to know that much about Parkinson's. I think it's more important to focus on trying to support each other with Parkinson's. You know, let me explain that better. <laughs> you guys know that with Parkinson's, we don't have a lot of like energy. We don't, we're kind of function at, at half the energy level that we were before. So I don't have a lot of energy to vote to big projects anymore. So I'd rather devote my energy at helping and supporting others that need it rather than trying to educate people when they don't want to be educated. So I also do it for that reason. And like I s said at the start of this, I also do it to help myself. It helps me in, the, in a lot of different ways. One way it helps me is that I have problems with my speech and my, um, I also have a problem with my face being um, frozen. So it actually helps me exercise my face and my cognitive skills and definitely my speech. That's it. I just wanted to do a quick video on why I make videos. Thank you.